Hi guys, so good morning, welcome back to my channel. I am Frostbite and if you are new here, welcome to my magical world. Okay, so um, we will continue the discussion. I think uh, this is the time that we should talk about that juicy topic that I was telling you. So, uh, with that, okay, let's proceed. let's check the time first, okay? So, uh, currently it's 11.25 uh, in the morning. I have to say this because I'm tracking everything here, like my life and all of that. So, today is um, Thursday, October 21. Yeah, they say that, right? Yeah, 2021. Okay, so um, I hope that we will learn something from this. Watch accordingly, guys, because um, this is kind of like a sensitive topic. This is not for everyone, but I think everyone should know this. So if you are a kid, you may. If you're still a kid, like um, sixteen years old below, you might want to exit my this video. Not not right now. Okay, so this is a bit. Um, sensitive. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so here are the things you should know before you lose your virginity. I didn't read this yet, but I'm sure this will be a juicy topic. It didn't um, mention if it's like... It's a unisex thing, right? We all have that. <laughs> oh my god. I hope not not one of my friends will watch this because this is like i don't have friends here if just so you know guys guys if i make mistake it's okay i still post it i don't mind it i mean this is like uh this is like a friendly talk okay nothing serious because i am i'm just you know discussing things here what okay so let's proceed Wait lang, wait lang. Okay, so first, virginity means different uh, things to different people. There is no one definition of virginity. For some, being a virgin means you have, you haven't had any kind of penetrative sex, whether that's vaginal, anal, or even oral. Okay. <laughs> Others may define virginity as never engaging in vaginal penetration with the penis. Despite having had other type sex, including oral stimulation and anal penetration, we'll discuss more about that just in a bit. Um, however, you define it. The most important thing to remember is that you decide when you're ready to have sex and you're comfortable with that choice. And when that time comes, try not to think of it as losing or giving something away. You're actually gaining a whole new experience. Okay, so. I think, like, a lot of, like, when I, when I was, um, <laughs> I don't want to mention the age, but, um, yeah, before, <laughs> okay, so, um, I, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be discussing, the, wait, I'll think of how, wait lang, wait, okay, so, I know that a lot of like maybe teenager, uh, this is you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, so they think of losing their virginity as a quote unquote uh, losing, but the thing is, since they were so young and they're not capable of grasping the idea of how this world works, you know, they may always think that this, this is actually like losing of course especially if you are living in a conservative country like myself yeah you know philippines has been <laughs> the famous philippines ever since and you know guys that people here are you know just way different okay so religious religious and hypocritical <laughs> no i think yeah no i just have to say that because that's that's the truth okay so, I want to like to to know. I want you to know, guys. Uh, if you are like a teenager, or like uh early early in your twenties, I don't know, guy. How I don't know, guys. Which age do you prefer to lose it? But I think most of the people here don't actually like plan when to lose it. It just it's just gone. <laughs> it's just gone for a reason. For a lot of reasons. Since um, uh, every. 
every one of uh i think most of us like have like those time where we are so like innocent i don't know you guys but here in the philippines uh women are like that because sex education is like not a thing here and i think this should be like a really a thing here okay this is everyone should know about this okay this is not something they teach in school because they teach some boring shit in school and the reality of life they must you know guys we should educate the younger people because they should know more okay to be able to uh, handle their life carefully and assertively and so that they will not be lost Okay, let's proceed. We might, we might get lost with the topic. Second is even if you, even if your concept of virginity involves penetration, there's more than just P and V. You know, guys. Sometimes I don't know what they mean of this P and V. <laughs> it's just it's really dry. Many people believe the only way to lose your virginity is through vaginal penetration with a penis, but that's not the case. Some people may no longer call themselves a virgin after engaging in anal. Uh, penetration or penetration with a finger or sex toys others may consider their virginity status after uh, receiving or giving oral stimulation so when it comes to virginity and sex there's so much more than just uh, penis and vagina I think yeah that's it so I think uh, we are all like different like uh, me personally I ch- losing virginity is like um when you had like a really a sexual intercourse with uh, someone but others may you know may think of losing their virginity at first when they uh, for example they use toys or yeah if they use like you know um different things like toys oral stimulation it, it depends depends upon you guys so it's not i we are all just a human being we're experiencing life here so it's it's for you guys to ano, analyze <laughs> your life i mean um it's up to you huh? but but i always wanted to say that uh careful with how you make decisions right it will always affect uh it's like a domino effect what would you what would, what will you do now will always reflect reflect your future okay it will affect 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 your future okay so Next is, if you have a hymen, it isn't going to pop during vaginal penetration. Oh, the hymen, the stuff of legend. You know the guys, how they, I mean, not the, not the matured guys. I know that the smart ones don't think of it like, like this, but some of uh, the stupid guys, <laughs> they think like, you know, the hymen, when it's broke, uh, when it's broken, uh, they think that the girl is no longer a virgin, but the, it's it's not the case, guys. Let's read it. The hymen, the stuff of legend, you probably heard the myth that if you have a hymen, uh, it will break during vaginal penetration, but that's all that is. It is a myth. Guys, this is like a scientific research. Huh? This is not from me, so we have to uh, most likely understand things. The average hymen isn't a piece of flat tissue that covers the vaginal opening like the myth claims. Instead, it's usually a loose and not an all intact uh, piece of tissue that hangs around the vagina. So, um, depending on its size, a hymen can be torn during penetrative sex, exercise, or some other physical activity. But it won't pop because it simply can't it's it not it it will not pop guys uh, guys please please like all the guys here you should know these things uh, stop being so um you know because like i think women keep defending themselves that which is not supposed to be the case because duh. <laughs> it's, it's it's there's nothing to pop guys okay you have to to know that please read a lot and please educate yourself Okay, there's a lot of stupid men out there. Like, I have to just say that. I'm not referring to all. I know that the smart ones are just, like, saying nothing at all. But I'm referring to those uh, guys who know nothing at all. Next is, your hymen has nothing to do with the status of your virginity. 
Okay, so your hymen, like your finger or your ear, is just a body part. It doesn't determine whether or not you're a virgin anymore than your toes do. Plus, not everyone is born with a hymen, and if you, and if they are, it may be a very small piece of tissue. You and you alone decide the status of your virginity. So, I don't know, guys. I as I've said, it's, it depends upon you. I mean, how how you think of it, like your virginity. Hmm? And I do hope that uh, you give it to someone like special. I don't know, guys. It's up to you guys. But when I, if I could go back to time, I will not give it. Not, not, not let's not talk about that. <laughs> let's not talk about that. Next is your body isn't going to change. <clears throat> Again, your body isn't going to change. Your body doesn't change after you have sex for the first time or second time or third or fifth, TF. Okay? However, you will experience certain physiological reactions related to sexual arousal. This may include swollen uh, vulva, erect penis, rapid breathing, sweating, flushed skin. Uh, these arousals related uh, responses are only temporary temporary your body isn't changing it isn't responding to the stimulus so it's just more like um reactions guys it's normal that's that's our body that's how it's designed okay there isn't a next there isn't a post sex look so after you've finished having sex your body will slowly return to its regular state but this cool down period only lasts a few minutes in other words, there's no way another person there's no way another person would know that you are no longer a virgin. The only way they know they would know is if you decide to tell them. So whatever shit other people told you, like if you're a virgin or not, they will never know unless you tell them. I don't know what fucking myths they believe in themselves, but that's just stupidity if it's not <laughs> I don't know what to say, but stop believing into something that is not like it's her body. It's it's designed like that, so there's a, a reason behind those shit. Okay, next is it probably won't be like the sex scenes you see on TV or in pornography. Everyone experiences sex differently, but you shouldn't expect your first time to be like what you see in the movies. So, sex scenes in films and televisions don't happen in one take. Actors often have to reposition themselves. Um, and directors may reshoot certain parts so that the scene looks good on camera. This means that what you see on the silver screen typically isn't a realistic picture of what sex is like for most of the people. So, it's not like Fifty Shades of Grey, okay? That's some expertise uh, scene, okay? So, everyone has like a different... Um, stories to tell experience to experience i mean to tell you guys but when you're like a first timer it's not like what you see on the television so just stop stop thinking things like that it was too good it was too uh have you seen it it's it's too good right so it's not like that on the actual state like it's never like that. Losing. I mean, this is the part when you're losing your virginity, okay? It is not like when you are expert already. I mean, you you have, have a lot of experience, okay? When it comes to like intercourse. So, I hope we, we are, you are getting my uh, point. Okay, I hope we are learning again. So, let's proceed. Uh, your first time may be uncomfortable, but it shouldn't hurt. It shouldn't hurt you. But why does it hurt? <laughs> Let's read, guys. It's completely normal to feel uncomfortable the first time you have sex. Friction may happen with penetration and that could cause discomfort. But your first time shouldn't hurt. If having sex does hurt, though, that could be because of lack of r lubrication. So there may be reasons, guys. If you didn't use like lubricants for, because it's your first time, you don't know nothing at all. You're just, you know, trying things out. Guys, I am not encouraging you to do this, okay? So please watch accordingly. I mean, this is some adult stuff to handle, of course, but uh, this is also needs to 
um, if a teenager watches this, they, they think they should really know things like this. So, but it's not like I'm encouraging you. Okay, please, please, uh, take care of your how you, uh, what do you call this? Decisions, decisions, right? It's everything. Please, um, have a good decision every day, not just with this thing. Okay, so, um, I don't actually like. As I've said, we all experience differently. So it says here that it doesn't hurt, but. I don't know to some other people. This is where uh, lubrication and maybe even some for play comes in. Okay, so if you have a vagina, you may produce lubrication or become, you know, they always say, become wet. Naturally, so it's, it's like that, naturally. But sometimes there may not be enough vaginal lubrication to reduce friction during penetration. So, other girls, uh, maybe, uh, do have like that uh they lubricate themselves they can do it naturally i mean maybe that maybe their partner are like good no they can do it to them <laughs> so uh, it's um how do you say this it, it it depends upon the women or i hope like every one of you is like healthy especially my viewers that are watching this um you can actually use lube lube can he can help make vagina intercourse more comfortable by minimizing irritation okay if you are engaging in anal penetration lube is an absolute must the anus doesn't produce lubrication of its own and penetration without lubrication can result in tears okay so anal penetration is another story so i don't know guys but i hope you don't try it <laughs> okay so uh, anal penetration uh, it's up to you guys don't care whatever you do just be cautious next is your shits probably won't be blood there may be some light bleeding for the first time that you have sex but don't expect a scene from the shining i don't know what what movie is that if you have a vagina you may experience minor bleeding if your hymen stretches during uh penetration and if anal canal tissue tears during anal penetration mild rectal bleeding may occur so this is normal I want you to say, I want you to know that, guys, uh, that if you're, like, having sex, um, if you got, like, a slight bleeding, uh, that's, that's actually normal, so don't, like, overreact, what ha what's happening to your vagina shit, um, it's normal, okay? Don't be, like, um, having, like, that tachycardia, okay? So, it's normal. Um... Next, uh, sexually transmitted infections can be spread through any... Uh, okay, so this is like, um, like, a cons. There's a cons, alright? Uh, make sure that you're having, like, a safe sex, if, especially if you don't know yet the person. I mean, if just, like, a quickie or something, or I don't know, guys. Again, I just want you to say, uh, to practice safe sex, okay? Vaginal penetration isn't the only way that STIs are spread. STIs can also be spread through anal penetration and oral stimulation regardless of whatever you are giving or receiving. That is why it's important to use condoms and other forms of protection each time, every time. So, are you gonna buy, pro do you want, just choose guys, do you want to buy condoms or do you want to buy diapers? Okay, so, uh, it's up to you. Do you want to buy that, diapers or condoms? Which one is more cheaper? right so uh, i'm just saying okay so don't just have sex just like your don't just flaunt your penis out there okay um buy condoms any any protective thing don't just also please guys stop telling women to uh use contraceptives B both of you should have like a mutual understanding on these things in order to take care of yourself, is please don't tell them if they, especially if they don't want to, uh, you know, swallow those kind of pills, okay? So, it's not the fucking women's responsibility, you two are doing it, so do your part as well. Next is if you're f having P in V sex, penis in vagina sex, wait lang, <laughs> pregnancy is possible for the first time, pregnancy is possible Anytime there is a vaginal penetration with a penis, even if it's your first time, it can happen if a person with a penis ejaculates inside. 
So if a person with a penis ejaculates inside the vagina or outside but near the vaginal opening. So yeah, using condom is the best way to prevent pregnancy. Condom that is not tear, torn, tear, torn. Okay, so condoms that don't have like a hole, hole, okay? It's a good condom. Actually, buy buy the most expensive condoms when you're having like um uh first time sex. Just just saying, like don't buy cheap ones, guys. <laughs> okay? So um yeah. So if you don't want like responsibility, uh practice uh safe sex. All right? So pregnancy is just around the corner. So you might want to take care of your eggs and i mean your sperms <laughs> okay because the truth is the women will never get pregnant if you didn't like if you didn't implanted i mean if you didn't planted a seed right they will never get pregnant so plant your seed outside <laughs> outside outside uh, away 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 from the uh, um canals <laughs> away from the vaginal opening okay so yeah guys please watch accordingly uh, this is like uh, again parental guidance <laughs> is necessary next is if you have a vagina you may not orgasm for the first time and this is actually like really really real of course you don't know yet what uh, it feels to have like an orgasm because that is your first time so don't fucking sweat yourselves like why does it like this why does it like that it's freaking normal you have to practice to be better <laughs> okay so orgasms aren't always a guarantee and there's a chance you may not climb so there is a chance you may not climax the first time you have sex that could happen for a number uh, of reasons including comfort levels medical conditions so, and in research, guys, suggests that 11 to 41% of people with a vagina have difficulty reaching uh, orgasm with a partner. That is because men are just like love to watch porn and they just don't know how to do it like in real life. It's so different. Like, guys, can you just please do better? Perform better, right? So, I'm just saying because um, a lot of women are like dissatisfied with the performance that you do and they uh, and a lot of women are faking it because they just wanted to please you so please have that mutual and uh, you know <laughs> mutual understanding when it comes to this thing so that both of you will benefit the climax okay so <clears throat> all right so are you learning definitely you are learning from me am i a pro that's a secret. If you have a penis, you may orgasm faster than you expect. So, a lot of men, like, actually told me like that. My friends, my friends. You know, guys, my cousins, like, are 90% guys. So, I just, they, imagine, like, having cousins that are 90% guys. So, they talk everything to me. They, they tell me everything, okay? Because uh, I'm... I am the per I, I am someone who can they actually just be themselves, you know, so they can talk anything in the world to me. So I just know these things because I'm mostly I'm mostly surrounded by guys because my cousins are mostly uh male and same I have a uh, guy friends as well. So these things are discussed maturely, okay? So yeah. So, it isn't common for a person with a penis to climax faster than they expected or wanted during sex. Uh, studies show that mature ejaculation can affect as many one out of three people. If you orgasm quickly each time you have sex, consider uh, talking to a doctor. So, it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like as easy as like that. It Maybe sometimes, but not all the time. Okay? So, yeah. I hope you're not like having like uh, erectile dysfunction or anything that uh, any disease related to that because it may be a difficult road. Eventually, your partner will will want that performance, right? Right. So I'm just saying. Conversely, it's also possible that you may not experience an orgasm.
than if you uh, ejaculate. Okay, so <clears throat> guys, this is like 1 to 14. I have discussed this with you, but let's have a part 2 for this one because it's a bit uh, long, but I still wanted to discuss this to you because these are important things that uh, you should know. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's have like a part 2 on this so that you'll know better. Please have uh, practice safe sex and probably if you have like younger siblings that are like teenager so that they will know more uh, talk to them with these things. I mean, right? I mean, who, wh wh where they will get advice guys from friends from outside the family? Sometimes the the eldest or uh, the older um the older sibling, the eldest in the family, I think sometimes you have to have this kind of uh, conversation. Because if not, when where, where they will get their advice, right? So, this is not like talking dirty. This is educating. Okay? That's a different level of understanding things. Alright, so we'll live in this world to learn a lot of things. So, please, if there is someone who are lost, <laughs> there are a lot of people who are lost. Uh, so, it's, it's, it's our job to, to tell them. Okay? The people who knows. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for helping me make this world a better place. For all of us and for the future generation, uh, we'll have the part 2 probably maybe this evening. Okay, so see you later guys. Bye! My fear is fading fast